all right guys hi um i'll be taking you guys through um the installation for your uh, ve holden ve second series um that's the same thing i believe for uh, customers in the usa um i'll take you guys through it but before that i want to show you guys what comes in the package as we send it um send it to you guys obviously this will be sealed um let me just open the package and show you guys what you get in it first thing you'll get is our stop sign that sh tells you to stop and obviously see what you have inside there before you spread everything um, the second thing you'll have is a picture of what's inside there um, as our technicians and our staff checks it here before they go out so no part is missing no wires nothing is missing then you'll have a quality check certificate because these guys will power up this unit check every single functionality of it before they send it out to you guys if it needs any updates or whatsoever they do all of that before they send it out to you guys um, then you've got a warranty card that you guys got to fill that up. Usually we put the date and what's in there. Um, you fill up the rest of it for yourself and keep it for 12 months. Um, the rest basically is your user manual. Very nice white user manual. Then you get all your wiring guys. All your cables are in there that I can open up just a bit later. Then the actual unit is in there, so it's pretty packed um, solidly between the foams. It cannot get damaged and it will not unless obviously they kick it. Um, I don't know what they do with it, that they can um, damage this. Uh, but let's look at what's inside these um, wires, okay? Um, I will be getting phases help if I need um, help, so excuse us one sec, guys. All right. First things first. You get your main power loom. That's your main power loom uh, that it comes with everything. Then the second thing is your compass. It says Holden VE2. That's a compass. Uh, that comes. Uh, that's that's the main thing as well. Then you get your GPS um, antenna. That's there. You get your microphone. Comes with it. That now that's our latest microphones where it eliminates all the background noise, so you'll have a very clear um, sound over the phone you get your wi-fi antenna that's your little wi-fi antenna um i believe this is your signal booster that you get that as well um your rca cable it's in there uh usb plugs so that's your adapter that's a usb and it has a um, built-in usb um cables at the back of the unit as well that's your radio antenna and last but not least, that's the uh, uh, camera plugs, guys. So everything is in there. That's what you will get. You'll get a picture of it as well so you know what's in there and you shouldn't be missing anything. Uh, we'll go ahead now and install all of these, guys. Okay, guys. Uh, now we're just going to show you guys how the factory um, unit of this would look like. Um, this is a, a bit of a, a job because you do have to take few trims off here. There is a number of screws. Um, we'll take you step by step um, and show you what parts comes off first and then where the screws are exactly it's for you to take them off in order for you to be able to take this fascia with the unit off. Uh, we'll take you through one by one. Um, first thing we need to do is uh, start with the trim. So the silver trims, they need to come off first if you want to go ahead face. Again guys, like any other trims, they're just clips. Uh, we prefer you guys using a plastic uh, tool so you don't scratch it. Um, but they just clip off. So once you take them off, they do clip off. There you go. I'll go. I've got it. Um, so the second part after the trims is the glove box. We need to take the whole glove box off. Um, open the door. There's this plastic on the side. But there's a screw inside here. There's a screw right inside there. There's a screw here. There's a screw there. There's a screw there. We'll need to take all of them off. Make sure guys you put your screws on the side so you don't lose it because uh, it by end of 
the fact that you take all the trims off, you can end up with a number of screws and it can get slightly bit confusing which one goes where. Okay guys, um, in order to take the glove box off, there's a cover underneath there. So if you guys go underneath, you can see it. Um, there's two screws for the cover that to come off and then underneath the cover, then you've got another two screws to detach the glove box. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, but if you go under there and have a look at it, you can definitely see it. You've unscrewed the um, glove box from underneath, underneath. There's a plastic on the side. Make sure you take that off in order for the glove box to release itself. If you just want to go ahead, Faze, thank you. That just releases the glove box and you can just easily take it off. There you go. So just unplug that plug, guys, um, and uh, that's it. Um, the glove box is off, guys. If you pay attention, there's two wires. Uh, this is your radio antenna. So that one there is your radio antenna. This is your USB. That's your USB cable there. So we'll just unplug these ones. I'll just... So they have a clip. Just hold the clip, guys, and pull it off. That comes off. Okay, uh, we need to take this uh, plastic side panel off. So it gives you more space to basically take everything off and do the wires. We'll go ahead and take this side panel off as well. So you just need a flat and a screwdriver. Just push it against that and then take out the screw, the plastic clip, and voila, it comes off. Okay, guys, now we're gonna come on the other side of it. Now, for us Australians, it'll be our driver's side, for Americans, it'll be passenger side. So, what we'll do, I will take the side panel off, just like on the other side. Uh, there's a plastic uh, clip that comes off. Beautiful. Now, we have to take this whole part off just underneath there that whole thing comes off okay we're gonna take everything off now just be careful guys when you're trying to take this part off do not pull it downward okay pull it towards yourself okay so not downward towards yourself because of the way the clips are if you do pull it downward it'll break the clips we are going to pull it towards ourselves guys um, and face will take us through that so these are all plastic don't pull it downward as you saw face pulled it towards ourselves all of these clips if you can see them they're in a slight angle so you, ca you cannot pull them down okay guys just like another side we'll take this side panel off just put your flathead screwdriver inside there take that off that unclips everything there we go that's off now we'll put this aside take the screws away that's it Okay, guys, if you pay attention, there is two wires here, two uh, cables. There's one this one, and there's one at the back. So the main one, that's the main power cable, and then you've got this clip. Taking these off, just like any other clip, it has a lock clip. Press the lock clip and then pull it out. Do not just pull it out because you will break the lock. Squeeze the clip and then take it out. Okay, guys, just pay attention what Faye is going to do. That's one of them. This one? Yep. The... And then you've got the power cable that comes off. So squeeze the clip. It is a bit hard to get your hands in there. Perfect. Beautiful. Next step, guys, is to take this black, the piano black trim off. Then the silver one comes off. Um, there's few screws, we need to unscrew all of that. We'll take this little compartment off as well once that comes off. And then we've got the two side panels. So this side and that side, they both will come off. All right, we'll just go ahead and do that. But the piano black trim, it can be a bit difficult, um, but just, just uh, we'll just follow it with phase. All right. Put the uh, gear to drive so we have more space and we can take it off. Just a flathead screwdriver, um, that will do the job. Yeah. <coughs> All right. A lot of 
have these plastic trims guys as you can see they're just clips they're just plastic clips um they can come off um easily but it just has a bit of a trick with it use uh, the proper tools and um just pull them up carefully they don't easily break um, as we've mentioned that before that compartment just came off as well yeah you can hear that um, clips coming off that's what it is so all the clips are in place none of them are broken you just got to take them off Okay guys, now we've taken the trim off. I just want to show you guys which screws to take off. Um, so if you guys uh, look at these, there's one screw here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's one right underneath there that's 10. So if you pay attention in um, our car here at the moment, two screws are missing that which they are meant to be there. So, but in your cars, it'll be there that you can take off. We'll just go ahead and take those screws off. Alright, there's another one here, guys, that I don't have at the moment, okay? Right, guys as we're taking the side panels off um so they're just clips they do come off if you pay attention to our car at the moment it is uh broken don't look at that guys i hope your car is not broken it's just ours okay so hopefully yours is not broken we'll just take these two parts off but they will be joined together when you're taking it off it'll sit like that and it'll be joined together okay all right so we've unclipped that when we took the first trim off and then we've got the top a uh, little hat right there to take off that's just uh, a few clips as well that that just clicks off yep beautiful Okay, guys now all the trims are coming off we are at the part where we have to take the actual unit off okay so just pay attention you've got one screw right here then you've got another one right there that's two three and four so four screws two on top two on the side we'll just open those It's always best before your installation guys to watch these videos so you know you get a rough idea of what tools you need as well to just to make your job easier um, and that's that just watch the video once or twice uh, before you start the installation have everything prepared that makes your job a lot of easier all right guys we'll just pull off the actual unit now because um, all the screws are um, undone so they again they've got a few plastic clips once you pull them off they do unclip itself um, and it just comes off. Beautiful. So as you guys can see um, at the back of the unit, nothing is plugged. When you're actually taking this off, nothing is plugged. Okay, um, it comes off a straight like that. There is two plugs that once you pull it off, it just at, uh, detaches itself. Guys, the next step is to take the unit off. There's four screws, one, two, three, four. Uh, we'll just unscrew those ones and take the unit off. Beautiful. And that just comes off like that. 
um, just just if you guys are wondering where the wires are, um, as we were detaching all the trims and plastics, we took off the clip, the power, the main power clip, and we took off the other clips from the side of it as well. So everything has came off already. We just slide off the unit. That's all. Okay, guys, uh, the fascia that we just took off, what I need is the two air vents from there. I'll show you guys how to take the two air vents from there so we can put it in other um, our aftermarket fascia and then just install it, okay? If you just turn this around, just look on the side, right there, these two, they need to get detached. So what I'll do, I'll put the tool underneath there, pull that bit off. Just gotta make sure that you clip it in there and push this down so once that's sitting down that means it's unlocked and we'll do the same thing on the other side so we do the same thing on this side and push it down guys that's it we'll do the same thing with this one guys so that's the first one that's the second one we'll do exact same thing with this one and take this um air vent off as well Okay guys, these are the two that I just took off from this fascia here. I just unclipped it. That's what we're going to be using in our aftermarket fascia now. Um, okay guys, uh, with our VE Series 3, we have to do all the wiring first. What the phase, phase has done is um, connected the compass already. So you connect both ends of the compass and make sure it's plugged in properly. So when I pull it, it doesn't come off. If it does not sit properly, certain function of this unit will not work and then you'll have difficulty. Now, let's go ahead and I'll show you guys how to connect your power cable. It is a bit hard to get your hands around here, especially if you've got short hands like me. Hopefully you don't. All right, so that's your power cable. This is the power cable as well. Just plug it in, push it all the way in. Make sure it's pushed all the way in. And if you can see guys, there's a little clip that you gotta push down to lock it. Just push that plastic down and it'll lock it. That sits perfectly fine. And if I pull it, it won't come off. That's in now. Next one is your radio antenna, guys. Like we unplugged it on the other side, now we're just gonna go ahead and plug this in. That's our plug right there. Just plug it, push it all the way in. Beautiful. Cables like this, that they do not have a lock. So if I connect this uh, radio um, antenna, if I pull it off, it does come off. So the best thing is to electrical tape it or just cloth tape it so it stays there, it doesn't come off. Just use some tape, guys, and that should hold it. Beautiful. Okay, guys, the next thing I want to do is run the SIM card reader into the glove box. It's attached with our RCA cable. So what I like to do is leave the RCA cable here and run the SIM card reader. So the SIM card is for uh, data usage. A lot of people, um, they just get a SIM card for data and um, they use it. So what I'll do, I'll run this on the other side. So that sits in the glove box and that's our RCA cables. So I'll just leave it here. The next one that I want to do is our USB cables. We've got two USB ports, the two USB cables. I will run these in the glove box as well. So I'll just pass that through as well from that little tiny hole that we have in there. Beautiful. And just leave the connections here so we can connect the back of the unit. The next one is your GPS antenna. So what you have to do is attach it somewhere on a metal and preferably surface-ish, okay? Um, try not to put it all the way underneath or hidden it under a few layers of metal and plastic because then it does not pick up any GPS signals. We try to not put it close to the speaker but for now we've just rested there and uh, we've picked up okay GPS signal but we'll just leave it there. If you guys can put it somewhere else better if not that this, this position should be okay as well. So that's our GPS that I've already attached it there and the connection we'll just leave it there so we can connect at the back of the unit. Um, so the wires, it's best if you run it from back of this metal plate here, just run it from the back of there and make this extra cable sit right underneath there and have the connection pulled down here so we can connect it back of the unit. Okay guys, the next one is to run our mic. Now you do have, um, like we've explained in our previous videos, you do have few options. You can run it all the way from there, put it on top of your steering wheel, right there at the back of, on top of the plastic, or you can actually go through all this way, 
take this side plastic panel off just this one here take this rubber off from here so if you just pull that off that comes off and you can just run it through there underneath this plastic and have it on top here but it's really up to yourself but today i'm just gonna have it at the back of the steering wheel right there on top of the plastic okay guys uh, for you to run um your end of the mic to connect to the unit there is a little space there's a little hole right underneath there what i'll do i'll just pass it right through from there to face and face can just beautiful that's fine that can sit that much because your unit is right above there anyway you don't want too much extra wires there. okay guys uh the next step is uh to put the bracket um on on first before we put the unit so the bracket basically holds the unit uh push all your wires out of the way um when you're doing your bracket because it can get caught between the bracket and the plastic as we're screwing the bracket on so push your um wires at the back have a clear path of it Obviously the bracket, you can't really go wrong with that because it just sits perfectly there. Um, you cannot put it wrong. You've got little plastic clips that it actually goes through that hole there. That holds as well. Except the screws, you've got little plastic um, clips there too. Okay, now... Just try to tighten as much as you can. Um, so it doesn't wiggle now it's all solid it doesn't wiggle now <coughs> there's two wires that I want you guys to just pay attention to there's one of these so it's like a green yellow blackish that one there that goes on top of the unit so you want it to stay above there because that'll get connected right there on the unit back of unit and then you've got another one there now I'm just gonna try to go find it for you There we go, we got this one here, so I'll put this back there, because that goes on top. This one here, you've got plenty of holes there, just run it, take it from, out from the other side, and run it underneath here. So underneath the compartment, because this gets connected at the bottom of the unit. So this one here goes on top here, this one goes on top here, and this one goes underneath here. So just run the wires the way that you use it as, as close as you can. So this one sits up here. This one sits down there. Okay, guys? Um, if you guys paid attention, I um, did mention we've got a signal booster or a 4G signal adapter or like a signal receiver that we have or antenna, 4G antenna. So we've stuck that at the back of our unit and connected it to our, it has a little um, input that you can um, attach this to. So that's the last, last one at the bottom, if you look at it. Then that's for your 4G booster, 4G signal receiver. You just connect that to that and attach it behind your unit. Um, for now, um, Faze and I, we've just connected the back of the unit itself there. Uh, what I'll do, I'll show you guys uh, these plugs, how to connect them at the back of your unit. That's your main power that gets connected straightforward. That's the main one that will connect first. Again, they all have a clip. Once you push it in all the way, it locks itself. There we go. Guys, the white little cable that we have here is a canvas connection. So the canvas connection, uh, like you can see, eight pins, eight pins. You can't go wrong with it. There's eight, only you've got one spot for eight pins. Just push it in and make sure it's locked, okay? So push it all the way in and make sure it's locked. Beautiful. Uh, next one you have... You've got your antenna that you can connect this. Um, I just can't reach it at the moment, but it goes at the back of your unit. But we'll just connect it at the last so I can reach it and show you guys the rest of it. Okay, guys. Um, so these are all the connections that you will uh, connect at the back of the unit um, at this stage. That's again your um, radio antenna, which I'll leave it at last because if I do connect this, then I cannot show you the plugs at the back because it's short. You've got your GPS antenna that you got to connect. Um, it's labeled at the back of the unit so you can't go wrong with it it says gps right here just plug it and just tighten it up that's done 
Then you've got all your RCA plugs. Um, just look at the pins, uh, find the right connection for it. A little slot. Oh, I'll take this. All right, it sits right there. Push it until it's locked. You can hear a clip and it's locked. Beautiful. Then you've got your uh, microphone and two USBs. Uh, so that connection that runs there, that's your uh, SIM card slot that it's already connected and sits in your glove box. You've got your two USB, one's four pin, the other one's six pin. So it's just right underneath. Find the right slot for it, guys. Four pins and six pins. Push it so it locks itself. You get two USBs. Push it so it locks itself. Beautiful. That's all locked. You've got your uh, microphone. Just try to get a bit of wires in there so you can reach. There you go. Push it in and locks itself. Beautiful. That's all in for you. All right, now we are left with two connection guys. The ones that I explained to you first. Um, yep. Okay. You've got this one here that I said it sits on top. What we'll do, we'll run it from back of the bracket. It sits right here, okay? So just we'll just leave this here for now. And then you've got your other one that you need to run it from underneath. I'll separate this. So you need to push this in, run this from one of the holes, bring it out of the other side. Just go underneath there. Just through here, beautiful. And we'll just make sure that this sits here for now. Okay guys? Now everything else is connected except your camera plug. Okay guys? That's your camera plug for reversing camera. Now, this car at the moment does not have a reversing camera, but we will um, put the camera plug in so I can show you guys where it goes. Uh, there's only one slot left. Um, you can just push that in there. Again, check the pins and the slot. You cannot go wrong with them. Push it until it locks itself, and you can hear the click. Beautiful, that's locked in. So that doesn't come off. That's your camera plug there at the back of it. Okay. All right, let's push all these wires in. Make it nice and clear. Guys, as you're pushing in the wires, um, just to make space for your unit, make sure your power cable is not on your way. So the power cable uh, socket, the black socket, the black plastic socket, push this out of the way. So when you are putting your unit back in this place, it's all out of the way and it's clear. All right, Faze, you wanna go ahead and put that in there? You've just got this. All right, just. So the clip that we had on top, now we connect it at the back. So that's a wire that I had it on top. I guess that's our hazard light. Yep, beautiful. And yes, that's a hazard light wire there. Uh, so the little uh, cable that phase is connected right now at the back, the one that I run from the other side, that's for our IC control center. So we'll just connect at the back of the unit as well. One, two, three. Okay, guys, uh, just when you're putting your unit back in, uh, there are clips at the back of it that gets attached to the uh, back plate, the black uh, plate that we put in. So when you're pushing in the unit, make sure you don't that hold your hand on any of the buttons or anything. Just hold your hand on the side of the unit and just push it in. That's it. Okay, guys, when you're putting the unit in, it might not clip in all the way. That's absolutely fine because when you put the screws on, then it holds it. And then when you put the front fascia and everything, it'll definitely hold the unit. So we'll just go ahead and put the screws on. Okay guys, now we're gonna put the top hat or um, the air vent fascia on. So I'm just gonna put the fascia that I took off from the factory um, fascia off. I'll put these two air vents on. Um, just have to uh, make sure that I'm doing it the right way. Okay. 
Okay, just push it in, clips in. Beautiful, that sits there. putting the face here they have a clip so I just push the corners um, and it just uh, clicks and it sits in spot now we've got all our screws to put back in we've got two screws on top there we'll get face to do that um, the screws that we took off we'll just put them back in in there as well uh, just slide it in under there first and just that's it that sits in there beautiful Perfect. So guys, the compartment, we'll just put the little compartment in there again. Beautiful. Just push it in so it clips in. That's fine. Alright guys, uh, this is our little broken fascia. So it should be like this. But it's not at the moment, unfortunately. So we'll just go ahead and put this in, okay, guys? Okay, guys, when you put in the two side panels, make sure you push it all the way and it clips. Otherwise, it doesn't sit nice and flush there. Um, if you can just sit now, it's sitting nice and tight and flush. So just make sure all the clips are in. Um, we'll just start putting all the bits and pieces together again so I can do all the nine or ten screws that we had on the sides. Okay, the next bit is our little black... Uh, trim that we took off if you look at this uh, cable here guys gets connected at the back of this little slot here so if you just hold it like that that goes straight in there guys, once you plug that in a um, little uh, plug there for that button what you have to do make sure that you clip in this first so just push it in and make sure that sits in first before you put all the other parts so that's sitting nice and tight now let's just pushing all the other clips just push them in gently so you don't break any of the clips yep just push all of them in and that's all in beautiful now we just gotta put that little silver trim there while you add it just maybe clean it and then put it beautiful guys the next is to put that black side panel that we took off uh, let's just clip that back in so that goes under the other two trims it'll have like a little cut for it so you can tell um, and it'll just clip in so it has a little um, clip and lock and it just locks itself okay guys just put that little um, metal uh, screw Yep, beautiful, and that holds it in. Perfect. Um, so we're just trying to put the glove box back in. Um, just like the way we took it off, guys, we got to screw everything back on and uh, put everything in order. So make sure uh, that we don't put any extra bits in first or uh, put it later because then we're going to get stuck. In the glove box, just make sure you plug that uh, plug in there. So that's for your light, okay? That's a uh, glove box light. All right, guys, we're just going to put the glove box back in. So we'll put all the screws in. Um, what we'll do, we'll probably just do the center one first. And then we'll do one on this side, one on the other side. to so just make it steady and then do the rest. So we'll put the um, screws that we had at the bottom. We'll just put the side panel on as well, the plastic side panel that we took off, guys. That's just uh, clip on. We'll put that on. Beautiful. Um, just before we close out, we'll put our little screw, this, uh, the covers. We'll just take the big one, please. We'll just uh, close our bits off. Beautiful. It's done. All right, guys, we're almost there. Okay. Um, next step is 
to just do the driver side or the passenger side for uh, US customs. Okay, guys, when we're putting the side panels um, for the plastics, make sure you push the wires in. Don't have any wires out to uh, block your way or prevent the plastics to sit properly. All right, we'll just go on and put our first plastic bit. I'll just give you the screw face. Thank you. Push that in and locks it in. Guys, the last little bit is our full cover underneath the steering wheel. What we'll do, we'll probably take our uh, mic from there and attach it now um, before we put the cover. And any extra wires, guys, you can always tape it. Just please tape it and just have it tidy and just put it in one spot. Um, just find a bit of space for yourself and just put those all extra wires there. All right, guys, you just got a little um, plug for the uh, your headlights. Just plug that in. Um, it sits perfect. And then push in all of this. So make sure you're not pushing it up. You're pushing it towards front of the car, okay, guys? Not pushing it up. Okay, guys, the second last bit is our plastic side of the panel. We'll just put that in. And the next bit is our silver trims that we'll just put at the front. And that, that would be it on both sides. That would be it for putting the car back together. Okay, guys, um, all the installation is done. Everything is back into place, uh, finally. It's, it's just a crazy guy.